Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Klaviyo account and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create an email campaign in your Klaviyo account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you wanna create an email campaign in Klaviyo anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know it's important to stay in touch with your email list and Klaviyo is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Klaviyo dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged in and this is the home screen. One thing I want to let you know before we go any further is if you're setting up a campaign in Klaviyo, that's more of like a one-off email. So if you're just checking in with your email subscriber list or maybe you have something to offer them, that's going to be an email campaign. If you're looking for an email funnel or a series of emails, then you're going to want to go ahead and set up a flow, an email flow. If you need help setting up an email flow, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. So if you're ready to go ahead and set up an email in Klaviyo, go ahead and click on campaigns here on the left. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on create campaign. And as you can see right here, they do let you know it is a one-time targeted message if you're setting up a campaign. Okay, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and name the campaign. So let's say YouTube subscriber news November. Okay, and then the draft date, we're going to go ahead and leave that for today. What type of campaign are you going to set up? Is it going to be an email, text message, or push notification? For me, I'm going to do email. And then if you set up different tags for this particular email, you can go ahead and add those in here and you want to click on continue. Okay, next you want to go ahead and choose who you're sending this email campaign to. So just click right here and you can choose from your lists. I'll choose this one right here. And if you need to exclude a group, you can go ahead and click here, don't send to, and you can choose these different segments. Somebody who's engaged within the last 30 days, they have engaged within the 90 days. Okay, here you can go ahead and turn on smart sending if you wish to do so. So basically, if somebody received a message from your Klaviyo within the past 16 hours, they will not be included in this email campaign. Okay, so once you've made these decisions, go ahead and click on next here on the top right. Okay, so here you can go ahead and set up the subject line. So let's say YouTube make money Anthony update. Okay. And then here's going to be the preview text. So basically this is going to be the subject line and the preview text is what you see when you open up your iPhone. It shows the subject line and a brief snippet about what the email is. You will not want to miss this. Okay, next you want to go ahead and choose the sender name. So you can use your company name. You can also use your personal name if you want. You're going to use whatever name that you feel like is going to work to have them open up the email. Okay, and here you can go ahead and choose your email address if you have multiple email addresses with Klaviyo. For me, I just have this one right here. Okay, next what you're going to do is go ahead and choose a template to set up your email campaign in Klaviyo. So you can do use a blank email right here by clicking right there, or you can go ahead and click on this view template library. Okay. So the cool thing about Klaviyo is they have a lot of different templates. So you can kind of just scroll through and see which one works for your brand or your style. So let's see, this one looks pretty cool. So we'll click there. Yeah, that looks good. I'll go ahead and maybe see what it looks like on mobile. That's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and use template. Okay. Now when you're setting up the email, it's just like setting up a Facebook page. You can just go ahead and click into it and you can edit all of these little features. So let's see, it's not a black Friday sale. We'll just double click on it and let's see, let's do make a change today. And then we'll click here on the button and up here it says shop now. We'll just say download now. And then we can just click in here. You will be okay. And then here you can go ahead and just keep changing everything around until you see the email that looks good to you. And we'll click up here. And then what we can do is maybe we'll go ahead and replace this and let me upload an image. Okay. So I changed the image right there. So you'll probably end up using your product image or your ebook image, something like that. Now you can also add different features in. So click on this little arrow back up here on the top and you can just drag these little options in. So maybe you want a video, we'll just add the video right there. And then we're going to add the video URL right here. So let me grab something from my channel. Okay. I'll paste the URL in. Okay. Now it's loading up and now you can see we added a video in. So just kind of play around with it and then keep adding or removing things out of the email. And then once it looks the way you like it, go ahead and click on next here on the top, right? Okay. Now it's going to load it up and we can see an image of it. So let's go ahead and click on next. Okay. Next, it's going to show you an image and a layout of what's going to happen. You're going to go to this many people in your audience and they're going to receive this email. You also see this various data over here. So you can go ahead and verify the settings on this email. And if it all looks good to you and you're ready to go ahead and send, go ahead and click up here, schedule or send. So, all right. So once you click there, you can go ahead and send immediately if you want to, and then you'll click send now, or you can go ahead and schedule it for a future date. So this is going to be, if you're planning this out for maybe Black Friday or for some sort of holiday, you can set it for a specific date. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up an email campaign in your Klaviyo, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.